All right. Well, I suppose the best pick is this guy. Yep. Blast of Genius is really good. It can be um, simply slow, I suppose, is the biggest thing of it. And of course, there are times when you're playing a late game, of course, and you don't really have a handful of cards usually. And you only um, essentially draw one or two cards that you want to keep from that. You don't want to discard them. You can maybe discard a, you know, very rarely or very roughly whether convert to mana cost card of three or so. And so it's not uh, overly effective that way, although you can easily hit for like six and eight and whatever. It's an amazing card, but a little bit slow when you think about it realistically sometimes. You have to kill a creature with it or something and you have to discard a big card or, uh, you know, I'm a chicken and only deal a player or whatever. No, it's good though. Very good. No, I'm not sure which is better, the Crassus or the Tithe Junker. Love them both. It's probably better. Well, I'd rather play red, white, black than red, white, green. Hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. I could just take the Boros land. I love this thing too much. I know that Crisis is better for sure. Pick one. Not for sure, for sure, but it is, I would say. So good, so good. Not good things there. Hellbolt Belt, I love. The Helm. Yay, yay. I'll take it. I should have taken the first one almost, maybe. Maybe not. I just do like that card a lot. I get it. I'd like to very roughly certainly uh, just omit one color. That's it. Just try to stay away from one color. Pick one or pack one rather. That's sort of how it seems like I work it in Return to Africa. Just get some kind of direction going at least. Whatever. Five piles of cards. Which is even the way it happens all the time. At least something, I mean. Base two colors even. And then not sure of the third or even just sticking to the two if as possible. That's simple. And often even best. You know, just play black white, fine, go for it, just gruel, you know, it's not even a problem. Just boros. Two colors at best often. Don't have to worry about mana fixing, you can just pick cards. Don't worry about the guild gates and all that stuff. Katie Perry or something is on. Gonna have to turn it up, I think. It's catchy. Stay trying to avoid blue, I think. This guy's pretty good. That's a nice fix. The scab clan carries a lot of weight. Nice abomination. Great. This is a 
song that I can tell that's uh, gonna bring make me feel this note one more time. Oh yeah, my god. All those cards are good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. All of them are quite good. And that blue one would actually come through the back, which I never play, but it's good too. Slime or the bat are certainly the picks. Look at that keep on which one you want. And you, you know, pass that hybridization. That's the best card. I like the play, it goes too late. So incredibly difficult for me. And it's most rare cards. It's gonna be one of those. Protector. Oh, I love the protector. I don't think it's as good as holding mantle though either. But it does wreck. And Jamal is throwing some weenie. Oh, it's worth like 50 cents or whatever. I just passed, which is difficult to do because whatever, passing somebody good white is less likely to pass you good white the next pack. Something to be aware of. Black gold strong though, so I'm set. Could possibly just play white black even. White black green, you don't have to play it. Red or I could play red, white, black, play green or whatever. Totally depends. Apparently, I like the skin brand goblin better than the ore mine infantry. In most in instances, I'm sure if you have plenty of two drops, the uh, ore mine could be. This might seem obvious. Maybe or this, or this rather. I don't know. 
I don't play this when I should. I had a difficult time trying to make it work though, just because I haven't been able to devote enough time, I think, to it. But I'm totally open to seeing it work. And it seems totally fine. Mind that thing quite good, in fact. A ruffian. It's funny though, because often you just end up having better cards. And as good as it is, it's clunky, right? It's one of the three drops. It's a you know three mana two two, so it's like sort of uh, just filler. And so if you've got plenty of filler, you don't need them, but he's a lot better than I first thought. And he's definitely good, but he's a bastard to block. I suppose I have to pass it. Green's not really gonna work out for us. Possibly, but I don't think green white at all would white's not even necessarily there. Or green, so you know the two heaviest colors are red and black. Okay. To a 50 cent bomb, even, but just because of the fact it's not in my colors, really. My price is good. Not as good as Stab Wound, by the way. But close. In my humble opinion. Rage map. I think throws the boat a little bit more. It's a grizzly bear that regenerates, but it can't block real well. Uh, grizzly bear is a better attacking, anyways, right? So I'm trying to make just Rakdos work, and I was basically from the start of this pack. The Jeek is good, and the First Blade, and the Dead, and the Tide Drinker, but it all just goes to the wayside compared to the stability that is like two colors. It's all about your mana base. And it's like, what can you cast? What kind of realistic games are you going to get into, right? You're going to have those one and two land hands, and those crappy little terrible board positions and whatnot. We all know it, so... Avoid those by having the most consistent deck you can have. A small curve like this. Just rape them while they're just like a uh, drop in three and four <laughs> mana. Maybe playing a creature turn four or something else. That makes it sound weird, but seriously, just kill them fast. It's a very simple strategy that works. 
I like the long legs, but this color is so good, in fact. A lot better than it seems. Uh, teleport all. I could use all these other ones. I've got plenty of creatures, though, but this is much better than those. I don't want to deprive somebody of that, I think. As much as I'll hate passing the electricery if I see pack rats in here. Skywatch. Very good. Solid card. Looks like I think I barely have enough playables, but I certainly do for two colors. I don't really see any white. That's nice. About 43 cents in rares. I originally thought this guy would be worth 25 cents maybe soon, but maybe not. Possibly though someday. Nice to have some removal like that. I want to play this imp possibly. Crasher is pretty good. More burst, in fact, I don't play that nearly enough. I'm going to right now. Seems like the most um, extravagant card, perhaps. I like it though, I mean, it's quite good. So it's all about where you can fit them, and I don't know where I can fit that. And can I do 7, 10, 7? I think I can. This is, of course, uh, best with evasion, but if you don't have evasion, aka flying, or unblockable, um, I guess even protection from colors, but uh, if you don't have that, it's not quite as good, but still good. But this, of course, is just stick it on a flyer, get in there. Times if you can. It's actually remarkably good. I don't love playing clue stones in two colors, but if you've got big mana and stuff, even without any of those cycle and whatever, they're fine, but I don't love them in two colors usually. More about the fixing. Three cars more. Mm, not that game, and so stupid of me not to stab one that. Although, there's a reason not to, I guess. And it would turn into a quick blocker for this. And there's other things to possibly get with it. So, if that was my thinking. I probably should have done it, though. I mean, take another four by now, even. More than likely. And just hold back the attacker, which kind of sucks to do that. It's funny when you do that. 
feel like an idiot sometimes, but just tap over this guy and then <laughs> can't attack him. <laughs> I don't want to. Swamp. Looks good. Um, hmm. You know what? As good as Stab Wound is, I need a city play. <laughs> it's pretty good too at the moment. I wonder if it just essentially kills both guys or if it takes it. Maybe I'll even do that. Attack him first and then do this post combat because if I do this, um, he'll almost certainly sack both of his guys or whatever. If I attack with it. But maybe I'll just do this and not attack. Wait for some more cards. Suck if you put something on there, you know, pillory or whatever, and <laughs> you get the benefit of at least trading. I hate doing that. Oh, nice. Maybe I should sack this first. Certainly got lucky this time, whether I win or not. I've got this coffee, and it's from the fridge, and it's wonderful. Actually, have life is good, honey. That must be what everybody in ancient days used for sweetener most of the time. I'm sure it was the, probably the most popular one worldwide. I would imagine. Mm, let's see, my hand's not bad. That even then I'm not safe for sure, but the thing is with my hand it's like you know worth the payoff or whatever. Possibly. But it's nice and quick, of course. Really tough to say.
think I just could have ended up with one land hand now again, right? And then my possible keep would have seemed better, and it's just very close like that, as far as I'm concerned, anyways. It's fine, we could debate it all day. card. It doesn't have anything crazy, I'm still in good shape though. I mean, I'm sort of I was worried about that 5 5, but you know, as long as I can make that trade. I got no um, Ruborn defense there. Right That's so devastating. So is this, whatever this is, probably. Not bad, not bad. Out of this, but I'm gonna try. Oh God, Grove. <laughs> That's about it. I think it. If I even had a chance. Okay. 
that was uh, somewhat painless at least. Big sanctuaries or whatever they are. Oh, Mr. Abram. Not for his lands. That's probably why they trusted him with the textless, full art, unhinged lands people like so much. Oh, the same too. Mm -hmm. I like those. Crazy abandoned ancient church type buildings. People are ready to lose. If you like your guy on the chopping block. for stab wounding. However, this is better to play at the moment. so bad if I do put that on there even because then they'll just not attack then I don't want to attack with my guys like it seems pretty obvious like you'll take another two and whatnot but oh whatever pretty much have to I think It makes sense to attack with this guy now. I have to, I believe. God damn it. To keep the creature count low for this. And then that means I can attack them next turn. 
if it gets through this turn. Uh, survive, but at least I got a couple of damage or the stab wound or whatever. Where is I? Please do that. Stack so well, store it so good. Nice. Should have probably kept this in my hand though. and you should just wait one more turn. You know, it's so tough to tell sometimes. But I've been just giving her <laughs> just at the wrong times recently, it feels. I am already annoying. I mean that I don't think. Right on. See ya.